Oh, we're fixing everything. It's been a long time since I fixed one of these on a Voxel Oppo, but uh, they're usually bad. This one is the rear right one. I have the door removed, sorry, if you have the door, it's gonna be hard for you. I'm just changing the door, so I decided to okay, have a look what is going on on the inside. So, we have the connector here, I pulled it out, the way you pull it out is you press the blue connector in and you pull this one out. So open this grey bracket here. Okay, and I'll pull back onto the black groove. Yeah. And we'll see how we're gonna uh, take all the cables out because it's a lot easier to take the cables out than trying to repair them through. Or maybe. We'll see. Give me a second. Best you can you can have when you're doing one of these is silicon oil and a pick. So let's just spray some silicon oil on the inside. And some here. Let it go down. And you'll see this one will start moving like... Oh, there we go. So, what cable we have snapped? Brown one. Yeah. Red one. Okay. Maybe we can just use a, um, something and stop it here, maybe like a zip tie or something. We have the blue one as well. Now look closer for cracks. Yeah. Just even if it looks bad, it's bad. On the other side of the door, one year ago, oh this one, this one is starting, I can feel it. There you go. This one is done. This one is going for it. This one as well. This one also. This one is good. What about these two? Maybe because because they are a little bit crossed, they're okay. So what we have? All these here. Okay, so let me get my snips and I'll show you a little trick on how we're gonna repair them. Actually, it's not a trick, it's a whole job, but we're still gonna repair them. Okay, so it's getting dark now, so let's be quick. I don't want to zip tie the rubber because the rubber I can't cut the zip tie after that but I can yeah so this gives me some space to work with <coughs> Good. now let's chop everything except the oh. This may be burn the fuse. So take the battery out. Okay, battery is out. Let's check if the cracks are still where we're expecting them. Maybe, yeah. Good. Let's clean. Let's clean the cables now. So just extend all the connections. with copper wires and the 
it's a lot of connections out there. Then. So definitely get dark. So I have my helmet light on. That's definitely not the best cable I've seen. Three more. Now important is that we are not going to solder, yeah, yeah just extend them. Eh? How many cables we got the small one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have a lot of silicone cable. One, two, four, eight, like that much. Oh, that's gonna be fine. Eight, and we'll have one connected to the big one. Huh? Okay. One, two. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll just uh, clean up the ends the same way I did with, the <coughs> with this one, I'll just do it off camera and I'll chop some of this thick one so so I can just extend the other cable This is some silicone wire, someone asked me in the comments where I took it from. And it's just a local hardware store that sells cable for electric installations. Normal where you can buy all kinds of electrical, uh, normal household supplies, you know, like... It's a nice big store, but still nothing special. Okay. Okay, so here you can see already the first cable and that's one of the big ones, just as a little training, so I'm confident what I'm showing you and uh, I know it's going to work. <coughs> now, oh my. My lighter is a little bit term temperamental, temperamental. Got temperament. There we go. Good. Now these are on this side. Yeah. So we do, we'll do. We'll show you now. All on this side, and then we'll continue with the other side. The other side. I don't want to take the cables out because it's a little bit nasty. Yes, yeah, so we'll do this side first. Now, let's continue with the small cables. For example, this blue one, white and blue. No, white and blue, yeah, white and blue. Good. 
I strip the thing a little bit. Where's my line? Here, maybe like that much. And then I got one of these. Uh, And I'm not using it with the plastic on the back and taking the plastic off by grabbing on the side and just popping it out. Can you see how it pops out? And I'm grabbing the wire on this side, just like that. And where is my other one? Here. And just push. Just push them together like that. And now, there you, go, you can see it. Take a little bit of. You can pull on it just to make sure it's nice and strong connection, but it looks good to me. Okay, and we'll go with the next one. Let's just, I think, the chair because it's so low here. So we took a bucket. There we go. Oh, so much better. Now let's, uh, let's get to the next one. Like that, a little thing on the front. Had someone <coughs> did my father door, and uh, he was very happy with the repair because unfortunately he passed away, and he couldn't see. The, the repair only lasted I think like half a year and it didn't cost a little bit of money and the bloke that did it he didn't want to do it badly he did it good the problem is that it soldered the cables like it soldered them right here and when you solder them here and you don't have something it this cable lost its plasticity a long time ago so, it's not good anymore. Needs a better cable of where is the connection. And uh, yeah, if you solder them, uh, it's not gonna work. And on the other side, I have my kit work um, sitting, so the other door is in a lot more use. And after a year, it didn't move the repair, it's solid. And also it's good to have the silicone on the inside. So the main thing is use cables. Can be uh, it's not doesn't need to be um, cables from uh, silicone with the silicone rubber on the top. It doesn't matter. We'll get for the next one. Um, 
it just needs to be maybe from an uh, automotive installation you know something with the uh, car wiring wiring room from another car can be uh, cables from um, you know some kind of machinery that has good cables don't buy the cheap cables they're not good and they crack and this is a lot of strain so yeah I think you're starting to get what I'm doing so after I do this one I'll stop the video and uh, I'll get it back on when I get to the part with the On the other side, huh? Ah, maybe I'll need a better screw, you know. Oh, there you go, that's good. If I don't burn the wire, it'll be even better. Okay, I'll come back in a second. Okay, so these here on this side that are done. These two, I'll do them after I do all the others because last time I got them mixed up. With, got this white mixed up with this white. And it made a big mess when I was locking the, when I was putting the window up, it was locking the car, a big mess, so I'll just do all these and these two I'll do at last. Now I was thinking to do them like that, but what we were going to do is just take a little thing and just poke it here, and we poke it here, and we can just pull on the plug, and it will come out. Then. I'll take this, slide it in, like that, and I'll put four on the right one, and it should come out. It should. <laughs> Do you know how much different it is from it should to it will come up? And there we go, I think it will now. There we go. Red one is out. Now we will get the red one and we'll make sure that there isn't a lot of that is still soft. Is it soft here? It is. Let's check the brown one. Is it soft here? Almost. It's okay. Take the red one, measure how long it is. It's definitely one of the shortest one, so we'll stick with it. We don't want the very long one at first because <clears throat> it may lead to other cables not being long enough. So let's snap this one off here. Let's put one shrinking thingy on this side. Maybe on this side it will be easier. Yeah. 
how much you're able to see, I don't know. I hope you see. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Well, I'll pull them out now. Brilliant. <clears throat> snap it back into place just one by one yeah well, we can do them all at the same time but you need to take a picture of all that. It just takes a lot of time. There we go. It's in. Now, that one. <clears throat> it takes a little bit of time. Maybe a lot of time. Camera cannot handle the load. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but I a little bit ruined this one, and you want to make sure that it is not ruined, otherwise, when you put it back. It will <clears throat> it will set back onto the connection and the whole thing is going to be useless without power. Just keep that in mind. I think that's going to be fine.
not very cooperative, man. To another job. No, it had a piece of plastic here, huh? I did not know that. Good. So the two main ones are good. This one you can see it's a little bit not in the best quality possible. I mean length. But it's okay. Now I'll show you one <coughs> from the top ones and I'll continue without the camera because I'm getting tired of speaking. So much speaking man. Oh, can you see this one here? That's a bad, 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 bad boy. <laughs> anyway, I will make it work. We'll make it work, don't worry. Okay, so, first thing. I'll do is tie up this white one with this one here and to do that I'm so sad I didn't saw this one coming White one is first one on the top. Yeah. And we will first one on the top, first one on the top. Ah, okay. White one, first one. Same thing, smaller cable. I think we can, yeah, anyway, to get the job done. Yeah, and I can just take this one through here. And this one passed through here. Oh, lovely. And this one. So. Okay, first one on the top. And then continue with the next one. I'll show you the finished result when it does. When it's done, and uh, we'll see what we're gonna do for this one. I'll check all the others as well. Okay, so I'm midway through, maybe a bit more, 75% done. And I just chopped this the spiral cable. I also extended this small one here with a little bit of uh, um, wire from. Uh, wiring loom and now we will proceed with 
connecting the last five on this side of the socket and we will start with with what? with the white one well we start with the white one because it's on the left and I'm going left to right and it just should be easier when you have too much squeaking nick there we go, never mind white one and which was that one? black and white, ok <coughs> That's the thick one. It's a little bit tricky, but it's good that I'm showing to you. So a little bit more like this. Okay. Uh, white yeah people want to fix their own stuff and I'm very happy about that <coughs> I have over 10,000 views in the last 48 hours on my videos Which is good. Good. People want to fix stuff. That's brilliant. So I'm making the videos in first place. Never was about the monetization or anything like that. To just to show the people how they can fix something. And, and I said many times, but I'm watching my own videos when I don't know. I did something or uh, I want to show my friends how to do it it's very good that we have a platform where we can share information that's I can say one big thank you to YouTube about it Okay, next one is the red and black. Okay, I will leave you. And when it's all done, I will get back to it. Don't know how much time later, but it definitely took some time, I'll tell you that. So, they all connected up, I just plugged the, the one in. And now, <coughs> let's snap this zip tie from here that's good now you cover everything in silicone There we go, just like that. I will pull this one out. Yeah. And okay, we'll move the loom in. Push it in 
and that's how to repair all the cables. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to connect it to the door and the door working and all that because I don't have a door, as you can see. <coughs> but you can trust me, it's working if you want. Um, don't forget this part. Did it have? A, I think it had a direction. Yeah, it had a direction. I don't really remember the direction, but there is a direction. Trust me. Hey, you should trust me for everything. You can trust someone on YouTube. Don't trust me. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. Yeah, I would put some. Uh, connection cleaner you know in this <coughs> thing but yeah that's how I'm repairing this I hope the video has been helpful to you <coughs> you can spray some of this in the front wiring if it doesn't work before you and that's it I hope the video has been helpful to you this airplane is ruining my bye bye but anyway I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.